hands were shaking and my arms could barely grip the rope, but with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Where can I learn to shoot like that? A good mentor and practice. This wasn't the first time I went eye to eye with that hideous beast. And while that shot was certainly in self-defense, that arrow was a bit vengeful, I'm afraid. But let's continue that story in the daytime. It's about to get a tad more scary. Dragons don't scare me, even those with all their eyes. If I ever come across that dragon, I'll finish him off for you. And I'll be known throughout Daventry as Gwendolyn the Brave. That's quite a... <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a bold plan. Well, that requires a steadfast gut and a deft hand. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. No, oh, apparently it was true. Okay. Wasn't really expecting that. I was just expecting as like a daydreaming thing or something like that. I don't know. Oh. Hello, cousin. <laughs> I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, yes. The legendary beast he went eye to eye with. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or if he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. Oh. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Oh, he's scared now. <laughs> Don't want to lose to a girl.
Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Holy moly, is that all the medicine? Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Mm, okay, so now we can choose. Okay, a deft and maneuver, an act of kindness even in victory. A quick-witted distraction. Well, since it's a fencing, I've actually tried to go, uh, I've been, tr I've, I've tried fencing before. And, uh, distractions is actually really good when you're fencing. Like, like normally you use a one hand to use the, um, the sword, I don't know what it's called, the pointy stick thing. I've only tried it once. Um, and we were teaching that the other hand, you could use that to do weird things, so the other opponent would end up looking at your, uh, at your hand. And then they would, they would all get all distracted, so I'm gonna go with that. a problem in a different way. I'm finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh, I'm supposed to control him. Okay, nice. Sometimes I'm having a hard time figuring out if I actually have to control him or not. Because the, the, the video or the, the cutscenes are kind of the same as when you're playing the actual game. Oh god. Oops. Totally meant to do that. Yeah. Aw. That would have looked so good. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I welcomed the sight of an actual road. The first sign of civilization. Daventry was just a few miles to the east. I'd read all about its wonders in my travel books. I couldn't wait to check out its famous fantastical floating island. Mm-hmm. Okay. Floating island, really? This is really a magic uh, adventure here. Oh no. Is that supposed to be a camel? Uh, or something? I don't know. Nice, dude. <laughs> hey, over here! I could have sworn the parade of hopeful knights was scheduled for the next day. I should have been with them, marching with triumph. It seemed my first few minutes in Daventry were off to a terrible start. So, how did you catch up with them? Ah, uh, good question. Huh. There's a bridge, or was left a bit, and I need to get over it. Apparently, we got some sort of a horn here. <laughs> that odd horn seemed to be missing some sort of mouthpiece. Oh crap! So I need to find a mouthpiece first. Okay. Oh, hey, hey, dude, hey! <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but there was a knight on top of a knight that was, yeah. Traveling. They could have helped me. God damn it. Alright, so do I have 
do I really have to make a, a, a mouthpiece myself or something like that? Uh. Strange tracks blazed a trail through the forest. A weapon. Hello, weapon. Oh, damn it. Oh, look at the, uh, look at the view here. Damn. Oh, what's that? What is that thing over there? I want to get it. I want to have it. It's like a small treasure. How do I get that? There must be a different way to get up there. I want to go back there. I wondered what those birds needed a tool. Oh, it's a toolbox, okay. Yeah, that's not really gonna work. Oh, okay. I, I guess it did. Oh no! Crap! Did that really. Shame. The only two left seemed to be a small hatchet. And no, Gwendolyn, before you start asking me thousands of questions about that hatchet, I did not go around using it on everything. Oh, you wouldn't chop down the tree or something like that. Build a little hut or something like that. <laughs> Been playing too much Minecraft. All right. Um. So I guess we're gonna try and do this. Uh, oops. All right. There we go. Oh, what is this? That wheel seemed freshly broken. Hmm. That wheel seemed freshly broken. Alright, don't have to press that again. Okay. So apparently there must be someone missing a wheel somewhere. Since it's fresh. So maybe we can... Oh, maybe he crashed through this thing. Wow, that was... That's quite a turn. Oh! Here we got it. Stand back, you dirty thieves! <laughs> Holy oh, moly. It's just a boy. Don't know where he's from, but it must be hard to pronounce. You know, you should never sneak up on a guy in a dangerous place like no! What's wrong with your foot? Probably stepped on a spiniferous thornweed. Don't worry, I got just the fix for that. <laughs> Tell me, is it more of a ow oh, or a oh, oh, oh? Either way, the Merchant of Miracles has got you covered. But it'll cost you. I've risked my neck to forge the most rare, miraculous, mysterious, and oftentimes delicious ingredients. Huh, here it is. I massage this into my skin twice a day, and just look at my little biscuits! <clears throat> well, now that I've mulled it over, you'd better not. It might stunt your growth. Ooh, such exquisite material! Hey! Mm -hmm. I knew you weren't from around here. Well, you best get going. Yeah. Nobody likes a late night. Oh, wait! You're stuck here with me. Every bridge in is out, and my shortcut had a few shortcomings. I swear that rock leaps straight out of the water. Now I'm stuck here with no wheel, a lost toolbox, and Mr. Fancy Cakes. Say, wow. I'll bet a fine, strapping young man like you could help me fix up this wheel. Yep, you help me fix my chariot, and I'll give you a lift to the tournament. Hopefully no one else notices your horrible lack of punctuality. Oh, how rude. Do you have any questions for me? Um, I guess no, no. Uh, nope. Don't have to repeat everything. He went all over the place. Holy crap. Oh, can I pet your goats? Stay away from my majestic unicorns. Unic but it's a tag. <laughs> That's not a freaking unicorn. God damn it. It's like small fat goats. We've Just attached a, a horn to it. Perhaps it was a wheel on the other side of that river. Too bad I couldn't swim. How did you get across that river? Well, I do have a hatchet, which I can probably use. Wait. Would you look at that? Well, let's just that make sure we're not gonna jump or fall stopped. down. I had to go out on a limb to get past the root of the problem. Ugh, Grandpa, your infamous puns are not my favorite. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like the timbre of my voice? You'll warm up to the puns. 
These are terrible. Yeah. All right, so we're looking for a wheel. We did find a wheel before, but oh, what is this? Here, kitty, kitty, not a kitty, not a kitty. Okay, just just ignore that. Okay. <laughs> this is a pretty spooky place, man. You know what? I'm not gonna try that again because it's probably. Well, you know what? I'm gonna do it in case it was a kitty. Okay, just not. Okay, let's just stay no away from those. Oh, we're still looking for a wheel. Okay. Uh... An overgrown patch of spiniferous thorn weeds obstructed a path to a water well. The well with the ginormous dragon in it? Perhaps. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna remember that. That was... It's probably our first encounter very soon to the dragon. Mm-hmm. Uh Oh, what do we have here? <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to climb. <laughs> person in Daventry, not at the parade. Alright, so now we've opened up that. Are we just gonna look for a wheel somewhere? Ooh. A bakery. And it smell delicious. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I should get one or if I should get... Uh... The delectable goods look tasty, but I couldn't compete in this tournament with a full stomach. What? You can't wait. I thought it was completely opposite. You have to compete on a full stomach. Otherwise, that would, you wouldn't really get that far. Or maybe that's just me. I can't. I can't work when I'm when I'm hungry. At least.